Well, hey guys. Uh, busy day yesterday. Actually got the uh, fish tank support made. Uh, see, I wasn't lying. Um, got to do a little bit more reinforcing. I'm going to put a piece of angle iron here that drills down in to the structure. That way this can't slide here. I've put stops in the back here. I've put a stop here. So we've got this, that, and that taken care of. Now I just need to put some type of structural uh, uh, angle iron in there that will prevent that from sliding that way and then underneath I am going to actually strap around with metal strapping and screw into the side of the bus the inside of the bus into some of the structural supports just to give it a little bit more insurance I guess would be the word um, it's sturdy as shit though I mean it's up there I've bolted through the roof and sealed with a piece of angle iron and then I ran a unistrut all the way down to the floor and there is angle iron down there and that's bolted through the floor which then connects to the angle iron that's all pretty straightforward that stops forward momentum of the fish tank if I'm going 70 in the bus, it's going 70. If I decide I want to stop, it's going to want to continue to go 70 because it doesn't have brakes. Well, now it does. All right, so water is still going to want to slosh in there. I have come up with a plexiglass lid. Um, I did it in three pieces. If I would have do it over again, I wouldn't have done the back piece which I've got one long skinny back piece. Actually, I would have because what I did, I put all my tubes through there. I've got my airline, I've got my discharge from my canister, I've got my suction, and I've got a power going through there. So I'm gonna silicone that small narrow one in. And then these have a overlapping lip this they come out like that I had to cut this I was initially going to do it in one piece uh, I couldn't fit it in there didn't think of that no big deal so what I'm gonna do is run a gasket right along here I don't know if you can see it there's a cross member in the fish tank that's going to get a piece of bike inner tube I'm gonna basically glue that there and then I'm also going to um, put a gasket all the way around the lip of the plexiglass it will slide into place, hopefully. Okay, so it slides in place. Um, that was the first time I had actually done it after I put in these right here. So I added another piece of uh, two by two so that I could mount these clamps, which are going to flip out of the way and then clamp down, which I'm gonna use two by two all the way from one side to the other. I'm gonna put some clamps on this side. I've got one in the back to do the same. So those will clamp, two by twos, clamp, clamp, and that's gonna hold the plexiglass down and rigid in place. Um, water has a lot of power behind it, and uh, that's the best thing I could come up with. I think it's gonna work, but uh, all of this is an experiment. Um, if the fish tank doesn't work, but boy, this will make some nice clothes storage and a uh, pantry for the kitchen, huh? Anyway, uh, we're leaving in a couple of days, so it's going to be trial by fire. Also have a small inverter. Um, I haven't purchased our large inverter for our battery bank and solar system yet, just because I'm not sure what I'm doing there. So I did have a small 300 uh, watt uh, inverter that I'm going to use when we're on the road to power the fish tank and the fish tank only um, Should work good. I've got uh, My wire ran up. I just have to connect it and all that good stuff So that's that Say hi to the fish. There's Jack. Hi Jack Jack's coming out and chilling Looking for food is what he's looking for There's the blush tetras Neons are hanging out. It looks like I'm missing a neon, so I gotta kinda locate him. Hopefully he didn't croak. Those things are so temperamental. 
All right, bye. Well, hey guys, here's the line coming down from the fish tank uh, for when I do the pump outs. This line here comes from a pump that I have underneath the tank that pumps the, uh, uh, the gravel water uh, down into this storage tank, which you can see I have full right now. And I have a valve at the bottom with a hose and I'll fill, uh, I will fill my uh, watering can for our, we only have three plants right now. There's an overflow line, just goes out the bottom of the bus. Um, but I fill our watering can and uh, water our plants and you would not believe, we've only been doing it for about three days now, and you would not believe the difference in these plants. I mean, they just greened up and started growing like crazy. So definitely a, uh, a positive result. I, I kind of thought it was going to be. Um, this is going to turn into a bigger project, though. I definitely want to do something um, a little bit more aquaponic uh, in nature to where I uh, have a pump um, off of this discharge that then pumps to some type of, I don't know, either PVC channel system that I can have plants in um, and make it so that I can either have them outside or inside. Uh, inside I'll have some supplemental lighting. Um, just something to fart around with and supplement our food. Um, and just, you know, do our part. Anyway, uh, that'll be in future episodes, but I kind of thought that was a cool, uh, cool result. Plants are definitely doing good. I'll, uh, I'll actually, uh, show you guys the plants here. Hold on. So right here, these guys have greened up. Here's the fish tank up and running. Uh, of course, one-eyed Jack over there. Uh, somehow he injured his eye when he was little, so he's an electric blue Jack Dempsey, so he got the name One-Eyed Jack. Um, everybody seems to be pretty happy. Uh, got a couple, three new fish yesterday. I don't know their names, but they're uh, they're little yellow tetras, kind of complement uh, the colors of the tank. There's a blush tetra up there. Two blush tetras. We lost one. Um, we've got a bunch of quarry, tandadori cats, some neons, and a uh, Dalmatian molly uh, that was left from our tank at home. There was a uh, small little fry in the tank, so we decided to keep one. Um, and only one, because we didn't want them to uh, reproduce. They just have baby after baby after baby. I mean, 40 at a time and six week gestation period so it was uh, a lot of fish in our tank um anyhow big snail sleeping down there in the cave everything's coming together on the fish tank so it's up and operational and everything's healthy our panda panda dories have laid eggs so we're going to see what happens with those but yeah that's it 